long way. Um, I was a postdoctoral research scientist at Columbia University. Now I'm starting my new lab at California Institute of Technology. I do research on optical bioimaging. We develop new optical imaging techniques based on stimulated Raman scattering microscopy and nonlinear Raman imaging technique to understand the activities and dynamics in biological cells. My dad is a college professor. When I was very young, he got me interested into science. So I really like something that is quantitative, something you can predict by physical principles by, and by calculations. It can guide your experiments. It's absolutely very encouraging that we have two winners from our lab this year. People really are recognizing our work. Getting this blood panic award means a lot to me. It's a huge honor, and it really means that the scientific community is recognizing our work. And that really gives me the confidence since I'm starting up my new lab as well. So one of the challenges in the optical imaging community is how to image multiple molecular species at the same time, that is like 10 species. Because you want to have a whole picture of what is going on with a lot of components together to perform a synergistic task in the cellular environment. But this is a fundamental limit for current imaging modality, the fluorescence microscopy, because of the broad bandwidth. We usually can only image two to five colors. So realized and develop a new technique called pre-resonance Raman scattering, which make the use of the very narrow line width of Raman. And by going into a pre-resonance region, we also achieved a sensitivity close to what fluorescence could offer. And this really gives us the benefit of targeting multiple molecular species inside the cells with high sensitivity and molecular specificity. I still remember the first image we saw, and that's a really exciting moment. And that's the excitement you get from doing research. I have mentored a few students in the lab. I think it's extremely important to have a mentor when you are starting your career as a scientist. It will help cultivating a lot of scientific habits that would be very beneficial for the later days. When you do science, do it very creatively, jump out of the box to think about some questions from different angles. That's what makes scientists extraordinary.